What's up everybody? I wasn't gonna do a vlog today, but since a lot of people have been asking me what I plan to do once Thailand opens up again, I guess I'll give you a little update today. So the first thing I want to say is that it's a beautiful day but to be honest with you it really isn't a beautiful day look there's no leaves but I have to say it's definitely drivable and the past two weeks I've been working on getting my motorcycle fixed up ready for the season because when it's spring and summer here in Korea it is beautiful I mean it's so beautiful that although I've been saying for the longest time on my live streams that I don't expect to go back to Thailand until maybe the middle of this year with the COVID situation. Even if they start letting us in tomorrow, I have absolutely no plans to be going back to Thailand because why would I skip out on the best riding, camping, adventure season here in Korea? I mean, honestly, I'm pretty surprised at myself that I'm saying this now because if you asked me a year ago, my idea was to have already been back to Thailand. But honestly, during this COVID time, I gotta say my appreciation for Korea has gone way up. I mean, just look at this random backyard park here in Korea. The amenities are just done so well out here. And best of all, I don't even have to pay. No foreigner pricing. This is just available for me to use. Oh man, I just can't wait until it turns all green. Fantastic. <sighs> so because I have all these plans in Korea, I gotta get to doing all the business I have to take care of today to prepare for it. Now I know a lot of you guys are going to be disappointed to hear that I won't be going back to Thailand soon but life is full of disappointments like COVID and uh, all you can do is just sort of try to make the best situation out of what we got and in that process I guess I'm one of the rare lucky few that found out that the alternative might be actually better. Now, I don't want to get too philosophical on you because that's what I do on my live streams. But when you're living out here in Asia, where it really isn't your home, you always got to be flexible and be willing to adapt to situations. And, uh, you know, I know some of you guys just have your mind set on just choosing one country and having it be your solution for everything but that's really never how I thought of things don't get me wrong I still have my place in Thailand I still love Thailand and I miss Thailand by the way this is a fantastic bike shop I found in Hanam the importers of Carberg helmets force field body armor clover and uh, I particularly like the force field body armor they have. And I'm trying to get some knee pads. Got myself some legit knee and arm protection and uh, had a very good price. The owner there is super nice. He explains everything for you and plus gives me a ton of discounts. Oh my gosh, she even came out to give me my card because I left it there. Such a nice guy. But like any place in Asia, the longer you live there, the more you're familiar with the place, the better your experience is going to be because you'll discover and find out more of these places. And I'm just scratching the tip of the iceberg here in Korea. Whereas I've been living in Thailand for about 5-6 years, so I sort of feel like I know most. Whatever the case, I'm going to now head out and uh, get some sleeping bags. Hello. <sighs> As you can see, I'm investing in a lot of gear to be going outdoors because that's how much I plan on going outdoors this new year. 
and uh, you honestly can't judge Korea by what I've been shooting last year because it was during COVID times. So it really isn't an apples to apples comparisons to my Thailand videos, Taiwan videos, Hong Kong videos because they were shot before COVID and before the restrictions. Once the restrictions clear up, believe you me, it's gonna get much better here and I know that for a fact. By the way, today is my second attempt to climb up this second route to Yumyeongsan because the last time it got rained out. <laughs> Definitely not at the same level of fitness as I was before winter. Oh, this is just like a very short hike actually to get myself in shape because this year it's gonna be a lot of mountains guys. Well, it's been a while, but it's good to be back on the trail. The first 1.7 kilometers of this, 44 minutes. It's a steep hike, but it's relatively gradual. And I got the second wind. I think I can definitely do this. I'm getting that feeling back. But just looking at how different the landscape is right now. <sighs> how clear the skies are. Night and day difference from the last hike. It just goes to show that Korea keep surprising and the weather is certainly fantastic as I see a bunch of people paragliding around here so I'm trying to dodge them while I fly a drone oh. anyways I see Yumyeong Peak right over there I'm gonna wrap up on my little snack try to make good time I must have taken a long turn somewhere because I'm stuck up on this ledge. Look at this ledge, guys. Expect plenty of Live Travel Asia style detours where I get lost. But getting lost is maybe the best thing that could happen. Wow, I thought the paragliders were daring, but look at that guy with a mountain bike. Just goes to show that you will not be short of endless friends to do whatever your little hobbies are. <sighs> oh. Wow! It's taking longer than I expected. Oh, oh it feels so good though. So I've uh, got lost again, but I've ended up at the paraglading area. Uh, I guess this is where they take off. Man, this is such a great view. I just, it just feels so open right here. This is better than the Yumyeongsan summit because I've been there and I don't remember it being so open. I think I've just found a road that leads up here as well as a camping spot. 혹시 이쪽 길 어디 어디에서 시작되는지 아세요? 여기일 거거든요. Just when you think you know everything, you don't. Luckily those friendly Hikers and backpackers have pointed me into the right direction of the entrance to that trail back there. So if I can get there and access it by my motorcycle, I'll just be coming up here to camp out whenever I have free time. So it took me three hours to get up here, four kilometers. <laughs> Before I would do like 10 in a matter of five hours or so. So I guess this is somewhat on pace, but I wasn't even stopping by too much to vlog. The only thing is, I shot a Yumyeongsan video, which I haven't edited yet. And I have no drone footage on that one because I didn't have a drone at that time. So I was getting all the shots for that video. I don't know how this vlog is going to end up, but this is just sort of a update to my life, I guess. And uh, you'll be seeing more of these hikes. And this is the first of this year. It's not the best I've been on, but it certainly isn't the worst. And I expect it to get better. So. Hope you guys are all excited for that as well. But I gotta make time now because the sun's about to set. Do you see that woodpecker? So cute. All right, I made it down. Bye, yes. 
So I was learning a lot about Kyrgyzstan. And then, since I'm so uneducated, she was telling me that Kyrgyzstan is the most democratic yes. and most freedom of religion yeah. compared to like Uzbekistan or Kanistan, or certainly Afghanistan. Yeah. So she says, come visit Kyrgyzstan. Um, could you tell my viewers like one fun fact about Kyrgyzstan? We don't have a president now. What? Just now. <laughs> so you are operating with no president? <laughs> yes, just for now. For this, this month, I don't know. Wow, that's so much democratic freedom. You don't even have a president. It's just ruled by the people. Because our people, like, they show out the... How do they say? Door? Oh, hold on. We gotta get off here. Okay. So now that you've lived four years in Korea, yeah. Do you want to head back to Kyrgyzstan, the democratic country? Yes. <laughs> I want to come back. Bye. Alright, just wrapped up my first mission for the Seoul Tourism Organization and met my global soulmates. It was really fun getting to meet new people and I hope to bring you more stories of their life here as well as fantastic places in Seoul to visit and travel to and that will be something that you'll see more of this year so this guys is my update COVID has put all of our travel plans on hold but it hasn't put my life on hold or my plans to live and travel in Asia on hold and I'll be having newer and better experiences in 2021